Hey, TDG Pain here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Hophog HDP VR. First things first, you're going to have to plug it into the power supply and then connect through USB. And you can use an extension cable. I bought one for like ten bucks. Um, first, you put turn on the power button, and your computer should detect it as a USB. Mine is right now. Okay, now you're going to put in the HDPVR CD right here, and you're going to hit Run Setup. Once you're here, obviously select English. You're going to install the drivers first, since that's more important. And it will start searching for the drivers on the CD. Just let it do its work. Drivers have been updated successfully, so click there. And now we're going to install the software. Okay, you're going to see this screen, and uh, it's going to install, install these things called HDPVR Scheduler and HDPVR IR Blaster application. I don't really know what these are, but the main program we're going to download is Total Media Extreme. Now, yeah, IR Blaster, whatever. Now, install Total Media Extreme. This is the one we're going to be looking for. This is the most important one. gonna click modify next and just let this install okay complete so hit finish installation complete hit OK you're gonna have to restart your system okay now that you've restarted your PC you should see these three new icons on your desktop I don't really know what these are I mean I don't mess with them you can go in and see what's up but I just focus on Total Media Extreme. That's where you're going to do all your video capture for all your Xbox or PS3. Or, and um, But before we focus on that, you're probably going to want to set up your cables, so let's go do that. On the back of your HDP VR, you're going to have your inputs and outputs for audio and video. First, you're going to take your video games HD cables, and you're going to plug them into the bottom row, but make sure you correspond the colors in the cables to the colors on the back of your HDP VR. Now take the white cables that came with your HTTP VR and do the same exact thing for the top row, but make sure again you have to match up the colors. Now just plug in your power cable and your USB cable. Now you're going to take the other end of those white cables and plug them into the back of your TV. And finally, if your HTTP VR, your video game system, and your TV are all turned on, then you should get a signal. So now you have your cable set up. Okay, now you want to open Total Media Extreme and click record video. And when your preview loads, if you set up the cables correctly, you should see your Xbox screen or your PS3 screen. You should get a signal. Okay, now for settings. Now, there's all these Xbox 360 and PS3 and you may be tempted to hit Xbox 360 if you are using the Xbox 360 but don't because it saves it as MP4 and um, Sony Vegas and After Effects don't really read MP4 very well so stick to PS3 it may look like a weird format but trust me it's the right one now go to format settings and you'll see this window pop up now the bitrate um, you should keep it on constant bitrate, but depending on the quality of your computer, like the speed of your computer, I have a pretty good computer, 3.2 proce dual core processor, so I would set that to 13.5, but if you kind of have a slow computer, you kind of want to keep it around like 8 or 9 or 10, somewhere around there, just for safe measure, but I have a good computer, so I'm going to leave that on 13.5. Set your Luma and Chroma to zero, just it looks better. If you don't want those bright blue LEDs on your system, on your HTTP VR to show up, if you don't want them to show up, then click this. But I think it looks cool when it's recording, so I leave those on. And leave everything else. Hit apply. Okay. Should refresh. There we go. And um, here are all your settings. Your input resolution should automatically be set depending on 
your Xbox settings. My console settings are on 1080. I'm sorry, uh, 720. So it will record in 720. And to capture, all you have to do is hit the capture button. Down here, you'll see save to, and it will show a location on your computer. To select your output folder, so like where your video file will go to after you hit capture, just uh, select a random folder on your desktop. I made a folder so called HTPPR Capture, and I put different games to make it organized because I like to be organized. Hit OK. Once you're done capturing from Total Media Extreme, just close that. Close that. And now we're going to open Sony Vegas 9.0. Once Sony Vegas opens, you are going to want to import your clips. So click that icon and go to your output capture folder. and drag that video into the timeline. Now, on first glance, you're going to see that it's showing fine, it's HD and all, but there's a black bar at the top and that gets annoying. So, and in my opinion, I just hate when people post videos with that black bar at the top. So, you are going to want to crop it a little so that black bar no longer shows up. See? Just crop it and save that template as whatever you want. Just click save. So you don't have to do that every single time you upload a clip. Exit that. And now you can add video effects like curves, color curves. I usually like that. And just kind of set it like this to make the darks dark and the brights bright. To make it look, have like a cool feel and it'll brighten up the colors a little. And, um, once you form all your clips together, uh, first, go to Properties on, right click on your clip and go to Properties, Maintain Aspect Ratio, Unchecked, and Disable Resample. Make sure you get that. Now go to File, Render As, and click on Sony AVC. Like, you can do WMV and stuff, but I personally like Sony AVC, so you can do that. Click Custom. Make sure it's on AVC, high definition, 1280 by 720, baseline for profile, and uh, CAVLC for that. Make sure your frame rate is 59.94. You don't have to add the zeros, but just make it 59.94 because that's what the HDPVR PVR captures in. And um, copy all these settings, field order, non-progressive scan. Now, for bitrate, you're going to have to make sure about this because for bitrate, you're going to have to make it for what you recorded in. Say you record in 10.2 bitrate, you're going to have to put 10,200,000, like 10.2 right there. But I did in 13.5, so I do 13,500,000. Audio, just leave it, system, project, uh, system, uh, make sure it's mp4 file format, and video, video rendering quality is set to best. Now you can save your uh, template, so again you don't have to do, you don't have to set these settings every single time you want to render a video, just, I named it HTTP VR render, just hit save, yep. Hit save and it'll save your template so you can just go back there. And now name your file and hit save. And then it will render your clip. So once that's 100%, you should see your rendered file on your desktop or wherever you saved it to. So that's pretty much all you'll need to create a great quality, high definition video on YouTube using the Hophog HD PVR capture. And uh, I hope this helped you. If it did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.